Hey everyone, Hannah here from Preferred Physical Therapy, where we help people aged 40 and above stay active and independent, live free from painkillers, and avoid surgery. This month we are talking to you all about vertigo and balance, and I'm here today to show you two exercises that you can do to help improve and work on your standing balance. So check these out. So the first exercise is going to be tandem balance. And what that is, is standing with one foot all the way in front of the other. I like to hold on to the table in this instance, or you can hold on to your counter at first, just until you feel stable and centered. And then all you're gonna do is just either raise the hand up or just rest the arm down by the side. If you wanna get real jazzy with it, you can also cross the arms as well. But if this position's pretty easy, you're able to hold it for about 30 seconds at a time, even with the other leg in front. This time you're gonna start with the eyes closed and see how that one goes. That one's gonna be a little bit more challenging because now you're relying on the muscles and the ankles and the feet. But if eyes closed is also pretty easy for you, you can even start with like some head movements, going side to side, even like up and down, anything to kind of throw off your balance a little bit. But shoot for holding for about 30 seconds and maybe try two or three times with each foot in front for each position that you try. The second exercise I want to show you is called the three-way hip, but I want to change it up so it's not so much of a strengthening exercise, but a little bit more of like a dynamic balance exercise. So traditionally, the three-way hip, you would be standing here, just kind of tapping each foot in three different directions. But to challenge the balance a little more, I want you to load into that leg again, see if you can take the hand off of whatever support you're using, and then just lightly tap the toe, in those three directions or you can even just hover the toe up above the ground that way you're balancing all on that one leg you're working on the glute strength a little bit but also some of that dynamic balance and if you want to add another part to it you could always put a pillow or even like a foam pad underneath that leg that you're standing on again just to challenge the balance further Thanks for checking those out. <laughs> if you have any questions about any of the exercises I touched on today or want any more information or videos like this, head over to our website, check out other social media. You can also contact our office if you have any other questions about anything at all. Have a great day.